What's going on YouTube? It's your boy, Cold World Live, and we back. You feel me? It's been it's been a minute. It's been, it's been too long now. Too long, man. So uh, I've been on the other channel. You feel me? So if y'all not subscribed, go subscribe to the other channel. You know what I'm saying? But also sub to this one too. Um, but yeah, I've been going crazy on there. You feel me? With the main channel content, but um. We back. We back on here. So I'm a, I'm gonna try to like get back on here. So we got like we we got some work to do on this channel. You feel me? Cause um we we trying to write really get in the algorithm. We just hit 300 subscribers. You feel me? We just hit 300 subscribers, man. So and then we just found out you can get monetized on here with just 500 subscribers. And then, like, the new watch time requirements, you feel me? So, it's like, that's easy. All I gotta do is just drop some vids, and then and y'all just gotta, like, tune in to watch, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we, we, we gonna really try to, like, go crazy on this channel, too, man. Because, like, um, we gonna be more active. You feel me? So, I, I, got some, I got some shit coming. So, we gonna come back with this reaction video. So, um... I guess this person, uh, he made a solo Minati video, so this is titled, There Will Never Be Another YouTuber Like Solo Minati, because if y'all know Solo Minati, man, he's like the, he's like one of the YouTube pioneers, man, like, basically, he, he's like one of the top, the top creators of this shit, man, like, no cap, him, along with DDG, Fredo, all of them back, like, back in 2017, like when YouTube used to really be lit like that, man. Solo Monati had that content, cause a lot, a lot of folks be taking his lingo. You feel me? Like that's tough. You know what I'm saying? Like just, just a bunch of shit, man. But we gon' we gon' get into this vid, man. So we gon' get into this reaction. We gon' we gon' set this shit up. So this is gonna be interesting, cause Solo Monati, like he he's like one of a kind, though. He's like one of the kind when it comes to this shit, man. Cause it's like you cannot really. You could try to copy his wave, but it's like someone said, "Yo, often imitated, never duplicated." That's basically basically what this is. So we got the screen record ready. Let's play the video. I was reminded how influential and legendary Solo Minati is and was when watching this video about Jadeon bringing up the old beef between Solo Minati and DDG. He's a pioneer, bro. Like, we, we, we use his lingo to this day. The people, like, around our age, we react to videos like so. Like, us getting up, like, what the? Like, like, they do be a fact, man. They do be a fact, man. We all got that from so. Especially when during I started doing reaction videos and shit. Solo Minati had YouTube on lock. The content he was posting during that time frame was vlogs, story times, 2K, reactions, and back-to-back -back beefs. Now it's obvious, So wasn't the only guy to do this. I mean, you had Flight Reacts, for example, who did the same thing as Solo Minati. But the way he did it was by acting stupid. Oh, him and Flight, yo. The Flight and Solo Minati back-to-back -back reactions and beef. Oh my god, yo. That shit will never go old, yo. It's just... I just iconic, bro. It's like you you had to be there to say shit. You feel me? You had to be there. On purpose. Like you use a mouse to flush the toilet now. He wasn't always like this as his older content had a more mature vibe. But somewhere down the line, specifically the early 2020s, he slowly incorporated stupid flight. And he made it his whole persona since he was really blowing up off of it. We knew that, though. definitely was a pioneer for the WNL community and paved the way for streamers like Aisha Speed for making it okay to be stupid. Yeah. I know. See, speed. Uh, he he basically he's basically like the, the new flight. He like the he like the new generation flight right here, man. I show speed, man. Nigga, we 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 see this, man. We see this. But the thing is, this video is about Soluminati, not flight. We can save the flight glaze for another time. What can't be overlooked is what So has done. I'd go as far as to say that he was what Chief Keef was to today's rap. Influential. So played a huge role in creating some of the biggest content creators we have today. To fully understand the impact Soluminati had on not just content creators, but the influence in today's culture, from lingo to mannerisms, yes, he had a part in that. Gazer, gazer, oh my gosh, yo. Even, bro, even the spiritual soul stuff, man, yo. When TikTok was, like, on the rise, man, bro. So Illuminati came with this spiritual stuff. He was on the spiritual way, bro. There was so 
many niggas, bro. How about hopping on TikTok doing the same thing so I was doing, man? Geezer, geezer. One with the sun. Semen retention. Oh my gosh, man. This is crazy, man. Oh, this shit crazy, bro. To fully understand his influence, here's how it happened. On July 7th, 2012, a YouTube channel was created and went by the name of King So. He didn't post any content until three years later with his first video being this NBA 2K15 video. During that time, 2K was the only thing So solely focused on. He barely did face cams and just locked into 2K. Chris Smoove, who was also a YouTuber, is widely considered the godfather of 2K content on YouTube since he was among the first to post 2K content on YouTube and make it more intriguing with his storylines. Smoove was a big inspiration to So, hence why his first videos on YouTube were 2K vids. Even Jack Talk Chris Smoove did yeah. his fake cutscenes for 2K. During 2015, he was steadily growing a fan base. And this was due to his humor throughout the 2K videos. One segment of the video would be helping viewers on how to play 2K the right way. And then minutes later, So would say some out-of-pocket crap like this. If NBA 2K17 trash, I'm switching to lacrosse or pump. One or the other. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be honest, I definitely The stuff he just be saying just be really different, bro. On that type of timing and people gravitated towards that energy because it was so funny you could tell that so was natural when it came to making content he didn't really put out a fake image of himself and people really loved that about him so continued the 2k content all the way to late 2016 but it was also during 2016 when he decided to mix it up and it would benefit him greatly that mm -hmm. year his videos went from primarily 2k videos to all sorts of diversified shit it started when he decided to post his first ever reaction video to pretty boy fredo in flights basketball 1v1 this moment changed everything for so People who were fans. Oh boy, this was started at all, man. He started to react reacting to it like biggest YouTubers on the rise, yo. Pretty boy Fredo flight reacts, man. Yo. This the Fredo and Flight were quickly introduced to Soul Illuminati's vibe and mannerisms. And they weren't disappointed. This and this was crazy. Is a inside a 6 3 inside center, no batches. That's crazy. Get him out of here. <laughs> Get him out of here, Trump. Fans of Flight and Old And it's crazy how lit they was back then. And then you just look right now. Like, who's really still carrying between the three, bro? Like, Flight's still doing his thing. So, Luminati, because, I mean, we, we already know. Like, he, he disappears whenever he drop. Whenever he just drops a video, it's still lit. Fredo. Oh, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. It should not. I mean, he he was like the the latest out of them, bro. Like he he had, he had more views than both of them niggas combined. But it's like now you could say the nigga fell off. Uh, it, it's crazy how the tables turn, man. Man, it's crazy. Quickly became fans of his. His subscribers and viewers more than doubled, and the rest is history. He would get 100k subscribers a few weeks later, and it's crazy to see because if you go back and look at his old comments, you would see a lot of familiar. Yo, Phantom? This seven years ago? That's insane, yo. All them people, bro. That's crazy. The old AMP. Bruce drop them all. Bro, that's, that's crazy. You just never know who's who were relevant yet comment on his videos. They were once kids who would watch their favorite YouTuber just like any other fan of Soluminati. If that isn't inspirational, then I don't know what is. The 2016 through 2020 oh, I remember that prank. Yeah. Oh my god, the squeaker. You had to be their top of moment. Because new viewers just won't experience it the same as compared to say the year 2017. When you'd get up at school and go home and see the latest Soluminati video waiting for you to watch. And you know you wouldn't be disappointed. Because every video you watched before was funny as hell. And typically he would make those videos in one take there would be little mm -hmm. to no editing compared to what we have now on youtube with the yep. generic mr beast type fancy cuts and the big ass subtitles filling the entire screen the vibe was just different back then during the 2016 through 2020 run i know bro like youtube back then there wasn't even such thing as like thumbnail art like how you have like these custom thumbnails Basically, like, having them all colorful, big text, emojis, things. It was none of that, bro. It was just, just grab something off the, the clip and just put it on the front, yo. Like, the shit was just mass simple, bro. It's like, bro, you, YouTube, YouTube ain't the same no more, bro. This shit really ain't the same no more, man. It's crazy. Now, it's like you gotta, like, clickbait. Because this shit has become so oversaturated, it's crazy. 
He uploaded iconic videos like the Cell vs. Flight Basketball 1v1 in 2017. For the people not knowing what led up to this moment, it was two of the biggest black content creators before this moment going back and forth on YouTube with reaction videos to each other and dissing one another on who was the better basketball player. Now, we all knew who was the better basketball player, yep. which was so, but we still wanted to see the match. This moment was obviously yep. very anticipated. Oh, but this was lit, yo. By beating him 10-0. There's the hyped up and Cash Nasty it. beef, which is kind of similar to the Flight beef, since they were supposed to play each other but instead this beef made so the biggest villain in the 2k community at the time since the beef went past basketball and it approached family territory so backed out in the match never happened i suggest watching this video by my good friend jbm fargo since he covered that incident really well the ddg beef was something else as well which is arguably his most popular one since oh, that one crazy the party, the DDG beef, man. double platinum song jbm fargo again did his part explaining it well in this video which you will find in the description if i remember to put it down there. I probably won't remember though. Now, I'm not gonna go into the full rise on how he blew up since there are multiple videos on this site that explains that, like this video, again, by JB on Fargo. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We know the story of how he became a YouTube legend, but how is this man influential like the title of the video suggests? I mean, you can make the argument that Solomonati never had a trending video, and most of the people he beefed with are bigger than him now, numerically. How does this all correlate? Well, let me explain. That's crazy, because y'all know this, like, he, like, he, like, like I said, he'll take breaks for hella long, but he'll drop a video. The video will do really good numbers, engagement, everything good, whatever, but it's like the sub count won't go up that fast. Like, he's still, he been sit like, for a while, he's been sitting at one point whatever mil. He had just recently hit two mil, but he not even, like, up there, like, subscribers-wise. Which is crazy. Imagine if he was like consistent. Like he never took the breaks to stay consistent, bro. Like he probably I don't know. Who 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 knows how, how far he would have been in this shit, man. That's crazy. Not many creators on YouTube can entertain viewers for 15 to 30 minutes with minimal to no editing. That's what So did. Whatever topic he had in mind, he would set the camera up, record, and improv right on the spot. Not one second could go by in his videos without there being a funny moment waiting to be clipped. Like, bro, this man would make a video beefing with another content creator. Typical So video, right? And then out of nowhere, this nigga breaks the fourth wall like a cartoon show and yells at you for no reason. That's crazy. That? I don't know. He just got it like that, bro. He really got it like that, bro. What the f*** is you looking at, my nigga? <sighs> Hyundai Tucson versus Toyota RAV4. Oh, Hyundai Tucson. Wait. People forget how big Saw was for the WNL community. He practically created it along with others from that era. Every motherfucker was watching him, and you can see his influence in today's streamer. For example, your Rage, who was a popular Twitch streamer. Rage is a whole replica of Saw Luminati, from the mannerisms, hand movement, the hey! Oh, oh y'all don't know y'all don't know about the this dude your age man cuz OG's no your age his YouTube channel used to be a soul Illuminati um plug channel like anything like basically like highlight slash deleted scenes bro your age he was the first nigga on that shit bro like just going crazy like this is why Rage bit down all of Soul's DNA and created it to his own. Rage is what I'd like to call a guy who wears his inspirations on his sleeve. Because he lets it be known that, well... You know what I'm saying? It's kind of cool. Is you gonna suck, man? You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to go crazy. Shit. Okay. It's no secret that Rage was inspired to start streaming from So, since your Rage was originally a plug channel for Soul Illuminati and other channels. Yeah. I bet everyone tried to be like Solomonati at one point. Like his reactions and mannerisms, everything. Don't lie, Kai Sinat took inspiration from So. <laughs> Blackboy Max grew up watching So. Bruce Drop Him Off grew up watching So. Mm -hmm. You think Sneeko was the only guy to say bot or you're stuck in the Matrix? Oh, even Sneeko, bro. It, it's only, bro, it's just spread around. Like Everybody got like a little, little sprinkle of soul, man. It's crazy. Bot. Man. And that's without mentioning Soul Illuminati's second channel, Spiritual Soul. 
The spiritual soul channels that Oh, don't let me start on this shit. Being spiritual. He dove into topics about the government being fake and how you should go outside and gaze at the sun. Obviously, there's more to it than that. There are lots of viewers on the spiritual soul channel who have never even heard of the Soul Illuminati channel. His sayings are popular and are used everywhere since TikTok popularized it. People mm -hmm. who didn't even know Soul Illuminati caught onto the lingo wave and started using it. Soul Illuminati's influence stretches past YouTube views and meaningless numerical internet numbers. That's what makes him more influential than most of the big content creators. Lots of these big it's crazy. content creators have all the numbers, yeah, but they're mostly seen as characters and they rely more on other things to carry the video. Whereas So reacts to the video, but he is still the sole focus of the video. Many oh, well, let me go back. I think this this is like the important part of this shit. Hold up. Hold up. You just said something like key in this thing. All the numbers, yeah, but they are mostly seen as characters and they rely more on other things to carry the video. Alright, right, let me video. rewind it back a little bit. Internet numbers. That's what makes him more influential than most of the big content creators. Lots of these big content creators have all the numbers, yeah, but they are mostly seen as characters and they rely more on other things to carry the video. Whereas So reacts to the video, but he is still the sole focus of the video. Many can't even- That is crazy. Like, to keep like, people like, just engaged on the video, it's like, yo, especially even for like a small YouTuber, you know how hard it is to keep that watch time up, just to get people to keep watching the shit, bro. It's like, you gotta like, put like a little teaser at the beginning of your vid, and it's like, you gotta get straight to the point. You can't even like, just bullshit on your videos, bro. Otherwise, people gonna click off, but so Luminati, bro, it don't matter what he, this nigga doing, bro. He will like, literally stare at the camera for like the first two, three minutes, bro. And people still gonna watch the shit, bro. He'll have just a tight, bro. It, it, it's crazy, man. He 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 got he got a different type of sauce to this shit, bro. It's crazy, and everybody. Else, it's like you gotta have. It's like you gotta like really edit it. It's you gotta you gotta have the best edits, all that stuff, man, to try to like compete, bro. It's crazy out here do that while adding those fancy cuts in attempts to keep your attention span in check so doesn't need to do that now at the time of this video yeah. Sully Minotti hasn't posted for almost a year that's His insane last video was a basketball right game and it's clear that's because people that's because um solo he made it to where he's the content not like the stuff that he's doing is his content like he is the content so it's like oh matter what are you doing a reaction video like, probably go raise up a girl, story time, or literally just him just walking outside, or literally just titled, I'm taking a shit with his iPhone like this, and then, he, bro, niggas still gonna watch this, this shit gonna go viral, niggas, like, that's crazy, bro. Man. That things are probably not going to be the same since his content hasn't really been the same since the late 2010s. And that's highly likely due to his younger brother's passing, which has obviously taken a huge toll on him. Rest in peace, God Triller. If there's one thing that remains clear and can't be taken away, it's the legendary status so has achieved in the past decade. Entertaining people with his humor, and trolling, informing people with his spirituality, and inspiring viewers to go and get theirs. All of that combined is why I think I can speak for most people that we will never ever see a YouTuber like Solo Minotti. Yeah. I agree, man. Shout outs to Solo Minotti, man. I see you just started uh, getting back on YouTube. A little bit. We gonna we gonna see how long that go, y'all. Cause he, he he love to disappear, man. He love to disappear. So I'm gonna go let's save that joint real quick, man. You feel me? So yeah, that's it for the vid, man. So I'm gonna have more content coming for y'all. You feel me? So yeah, we just gonna go crazy this 2023, man. So we gonna hit the five. We gonna hit the 500 subs. We still gonna hit that 1K this year. We we gonna try to hit this 1K on this channel this year. So. Yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and your boy out this. Peace.